Hey everybody, Cassie here with you for just a few minutes, hopefully. Okay, that's my goal. Um, I had to make this video because something has happened that hasn't happened for me in such a long time. I would even say years, okay? And so, um, I just had to make this video to share this with you. Of course, obviously, there's a scale right in front of you with some before numbers, some after numbers, um, and some dates, okay? This is a picture of my actual um, scale numbers, before and after picture of the results I had in two days. That's what I mean when I say this hasn't happened for me. This doesn't happen for me. I, I am heavier than I look. And, and a lot of times when people see me in person, they let me know <laughs> that, you know, of course, you know, they never, um, uh, you know, they don't say it in an insulting way or anything. They're just like, hey, wow, sometimes on, you know, Facebook, you look like you, um, you know, could use a couple of uh, cheeseburgers or, you know, a good home cooked meal. But now that I see you in person, you're, yeah, you're, you're not as skinny as I thought you were. And so, um, and to be honest, I don't get that too much, okay? It's just that when people see me in person, they realize I am not a skinny mini. And a skinny mini is not my goal, okay? But I don't want to digress and get all off on a totally different subject, okay? I just wanted to share with you my results, which were 4.6 pounds down in two days. If you haven't done that, back in 2009 when I released 30 pounds, over it was over a 90-day period. I never, I was never a scale person. I never thought to get on the scale, you know, you know, the first week or the second week, I just know at some point I did get on the scale. I did weigh myself before when I first started my 90 day, you know, journey back in 2009. Now I want to make sure that I clarify this was in 2009, which is going to lead up to the point I'm making. But back then, I dropped 30 pounds. You know, I know I just said that. Don't know how, how you know, at what point I had dropped 15 pounds or I had dropped. 10 pounds or 25 pounds, I don't know. I just know at the end of 90 days, I got on a scale again and I had dropped 30 pounds. After that, 2009, my body just did not, never drop weight um, really quickly. The scale numbers never really moved, you know, for me. Other than when I got sick a couple of years ago, if you know me, if you follow me for any amount of time, then you know this story. But, you know, being sick, yeah, I dropped a lot of weight because I was sick. I mean, just too much weight, okay, was not my goal. I looked terrible, okay, and I know I didn't. I have those photos, you know, to, to prove that. But uh, being skinny or skinny mini was never my goal. I want to be healthy, and I want to be the normal weight that I'm supposed to have for my body, okay, not under, not over. But the normal, as close to the normal weight that I know I'm supposed to have, as close to it as I can get. So, um, when I was released from the hospital, I gained a lot of excess fatty tissue. If you've seen those photos, actually, this is the photo, and I'm going to click on that in a um, couple of minutes to kind of, you know, um, get a, a better view of it, so you can get a better view of it. But all excess fatty tissue, I packed on, you know, more pounds than I really wanted to. Then I, this is when I was released from the hospital. This is as I was getting my health back. But a lot of things happened, and as I said, I gained a lot of fat tissue and a lot of weight. Um, more weight than I wanted to, let me put it that way. But, and then last May, got back on track. And while I did drop all that, you know, well, not all, I'm still working on it, but the majority of the fatty tissue, uh, the scale didn't really move until... March 28th and didn't move as much maybe ounces I, I literally only dropped ounces and I'm gonna be I'm just being honest 
with you all, okay? And so, um, two days later, I got on a scale and I had dropped 4.6 pounds. It is now March 31st, okay? And um, I, I really, uh, what happened? I'm going to, what had happened was, is that, you know, know how we say it? I decided to try something different. Um, and because I, I just knew, I was feeling sluggish. Okay, even though I've been on this journey for a while, you know, on both ends of the up and downs and all that, I was feeling sluggish, I was feeling irritable, I was feeling just kind of icky. Ugh. And so I decided to try a new system that I have been told so much about. And um, people were dropping anywhere, well, people were dropping up to 10 pounds. And so I said, well, I'm going to try this system. And... I'm going to go ahead and take the pictures uh, the, for the morning that I start. And that was, it, these were the results. I got on the scale. Two days later again, 141.8 pounds. And I really wasn't expecting the scale to drop. Um, but, hey, they did. So I'm happy about it. I'm excited about it. And I want to come and share that with you because I... And being in this industry, which is the health and wellness industry, for so many years, I know so many people who actually will quit their health and wellness journey because the scale numbers do not go down. I know this. I've seen this. I've been a part of a groups where people say, what am I doing wrong? It's, I'm just going to give up because the scale numbers are not um, going down. I'm at a point now, and I was even talking to a young lady yesterday, she says she's even at a point now where she, although she wants the scale numbers to drop, she really does because she has a goal for herself, um, a weight goal. But at this point, she does recognize the non-scale victories. What you are feeling better, more energy, your rings may fit, you know, um, more loosely, your clothes may fit more loosely, things like that, okay? Those are non-scale victories. But for some people, non-scale victories are not enough. So for those of you who want to see, see the scale numbers drop maybe you've tried some things maybe but the scale number just is not budging um i'm not can't even go into what all this system um will do other than okay um maybe potentially help your scale numbers drop because i made no promises i, I can't make any promises okay but um for those of you who may be feeling like that and you want to try something different then I'm going to just offer you, uh, uh, share with you a couple of options. One being, I have created a new page um, devoted to health and wellness, not just in weight, not just in, you know, um, it, it's, it's health and wellness, but it's, it, it covers so much more than weight loss. Okay, let me put it like that. I also have a group. It is a private group for those who have, um, more maybe intense goals, I don't know if that's is that the word, or, um, you know, you just want to be something different and a little bit more private. So I have videos um, kind of detailing both of those, the page and the group. So, um, again, and, and that's where I will actually go into more of this system, okay, over there on the page. It's an amazing system. I ate delicious food, absolutely delicious food. I ate, okay, and men, fellas, close your ears if you happen to um, see this video on my page, because my page is open, the group is for women only, and it's private, but even uh, that time of the month, you know, we retain water and, and all of this, hormones are, are all out of whack, I still drop 4.6 pounds, how does that happen? For me, my body is stubborn, even through all of that. Drop 4.6 pounds. Okay, so this is turning into a 10-minute video. I'm sure I left something out. I will put it in the in the description. Uh, whatever it is, I may feel that I left out once I